Uh, my name is Lise Perrier and today I'm going to show you um, how I edit this image with uh, some of Jessica Drossing products. Um, I use her products a lot since I um, do a lot of composite and try to get some kind uh, creative creative uh, edit so I really love her products and I'm going to show you uh, some of the products I use usually on my edits so this is the image directly from camera raw I always start here so I'm what I did here just low the highlights add a little shadow I'm going to under exposure exposure more because I want to see more details I'm going to add more whites and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go by color HSL and I'm going to go to saturation and I'm going to go to my greens and low a little bit of greens and the hue I'm going to go I'm going to make the flowers more orange than uh, yellow so I'm going to slide this uh, yellow on minus 64 and then I'm going to go to luminous and add more light in her face with this uh, orange and let me turn the volume up here and then I'm going to Add a little more light in the yellows as well. And I'm going to get less blue so I can have more details in her clothes. And then I'm going to go up here on split toning. And in the highlights, I'm going to go to the orange. I'm going to add a little bit of orange and hue in the shadows. But again, I'm going to go to the orange as well. And then I'm going to just open the image. So now I'm going to straight this a little bit because it's kind of not right. Uh, I'm going to click Content Award. And I'm going to duplicate my background and I'm going just to move to straight it up and what this is doing is just copy part of the background that I'm moving and fill it so probably over there uh, click content award and I click OK taking a little while I don't know why usually it's fast but I need to clean my computer it has so many pictures here um, let's wait for this and then we're gonna start adding um, the sky I'm gonna add overlays and so this is good Let's see before and after we just fill those areas and then I'm gonna flat so I'm just gonna go by my libraries that I um, have all my um, PNGs and all organized when I work in Photoshop so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna find uh, Jessica Skies Inspire Cloud GD, GD 
So she has very pretty colors of skies and textures of the clouds and really love this one to add some kind of uh, different sky when the sky is just plain like this one. And I want to add something more like colorful and cloudy, I mean more clouds around. Probably this one. I'm going to just drag it here. I'm going to place this here in the top. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go transform and I'm going to do perspective. I'm going to just add a little perspective here. And double click. So now I'm going to go back here and in the background I'm going to get a mask and I'm going to go to Guardian tool and I'm going to make sure I am in transparency. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line. I'm going to start like dissolving in gradually in the sky. And I'm going to just go with a brush with my black uh, brush. Uh, I'm going to erase here. I'm going to load the opacity and dissolve a little here. Then I'm going to click here in the, um, no, in the mask, in, in, in the layer, and I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to blur a little bit. Um, Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use, she have with the skies an action that make you all the effects that you, do you need. I'm uh, just not sure if I have it here. So they're right here, and I'm going to do, um, so she have this um, action that are included in, in, in many of her uh, skies, and they're very helpful. So I'm just going to warm the sky. I'm going to load opacity a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to flat. Now I'm going to do is, I would like to blur a little more the background, so I'm going to duplicate this. And for that, I'm going to duplicate my background, and I'm going to go filter, I'm going to go to blur, and I'm going to go to lens blur.
And from here, I'm going to go to the blur focal distance. And try to add a little more of blur in the background. Click OK. And I just want to create a mask and bring back hair out 100%, just this area over here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to libraries again and I'm going to go by um, the butterflies the number two this is a new one that she have like you see that she have so many different so I would like to drag this one I'm going to resize this And round the size. And then I'm going to add another one. But I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to erase some of them. And as well, you have the action that you can blur them or change the tones like more warm or cold so what I'm going to do I'm going to rasterize this one I'm going to convert it to a smart subject and I'm going to Put these together these two groups together and I'm going to convert these two in a smart subject so it's become one so I can no they can no together no separate anymore and I do this because I don't like to have so many layers on the top I always flat 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 so I have one only here and then um, you can go back and see the uh, the action. I think I see it here. Okay, right here. So here you have the GD butterfly overlay action that is included with the overlays, and you can change to, for example, cool tones, warm tones. I probably going to uh, blur the butterflies a little bit. So I'm gonna click that, and then, and then you can see an action here, and just continue, and it's gonna blur the whole thing. Uh, but it's too much so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go slightly mm, yeah you can do that you can do many things here if you want to change it I'm going to uh, probably go to the cool tones yeah so make more see much more be much better and you can change the rotation I mean you can do a lot of things with the actions and they are very very good um, 
so I would like to have this on focus because they are close to her and this one's a little blur because it's more in the back so it looks more real and then uh, what I'm going to do is go back to my library And I'm going to go to the textures and I'm, for this one I'm going to choose um, probably the, let's try the pen tooly. So I'm going to add one texture here and I'm just going to drag and then these ones also have action set that you can use and change everything I'm going to fl uh, place in the, in the whole picture and I'm going to change the mode to soft light you can say you can change depending on what are you doing but I usually live in soft light when I do outdoors and I go into low opacity I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to erase the texture on her and this is easy because it's just you know you don't need to select the whole subject I just need to do this because I saw the the texture I load opacity so you ain't gonna we don't gonna see that much that um, difference as you see we we'll go closer um I like to add to uh this is where I have all my stuff uh textures. Yeah, this is I think beautiful word textures and I'm going to add this one. And this one make very nice effect with light and I like this one so I'm going to place this in the middle and fill it double click I'm gonna oops I'm going to change this to you can do soft light you can do overlay hard light I'm gonna click softly again. I'm going to crop this a little more. And then I'm going to flat. I think I'm going to resize this. That's why it's giving me to, it's a little big file. Okay. I'm going to crop. And I'm probably going to change a little more the sel with selective color a little more the tones here. I like like that. I don't like them as too much yellow. And I'm gonna go to color balance. I'm gonna go to my highlight and add more cyan. A tad yellow. Add a little tad of magenta.
and I am going just to go and add on curve. I'm going to make a little vignette here. I'm going to put down my mid tones. I'm going to this up here. Just playing with the curves. And with my black, with my black brush, I'm going to bring back the light in the middle. I'm going to let opacity a little bit. Okay, I'm going to flat again. And I'm going to over sharp with um, duplicate. I'm going to go soft light filter other and high files. I'm just going to add a whole um, sharp double image here. I will see before and after and we are done here. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope you this help you out and um, get her products are amazing and you will not regret. Okay, see you next time.